And thank you all for joining us today. First, we need to practice and uh, all of our voices because we're going to use our singing voices. You ready? Touch your toes. Toes. Heels. Knees. Waist. Elbows. Shoulders. Head. Hands. Hands. Head. Shoulders. Elbows. Waist. Knees. Heels. Toes. Do you do that with me again? Because we need to exercise our voices so we can sing together. One more time. Toes, heels, knees, waist, elbows, shoulders, head, hands, hands, head, shoulders, elbows, waist, knees, heels, toes. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So that's what I have some instruments that will help us do our program because we're going to be singing and drumming and dancing and telling stories. Okay. This is my first instrument that you need to know because guess what? That's the one that is going to help us sing. Remember, we just did a do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do. That's a scale. I'm going to use this instrument. The talking drum or don't know to show you that. <sighs> That's my talking drum, and I just use it to play the, the scale. That means it can play any song that you wish to sing, right? You want to sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. to some of the other drums and um, instruments. I have my djembe drum, the djembe drum, a big size djembe drum. I have a medium size djembe drum. I have a pan logo drum, pan logo drum from Ghana. And I have my bell, cowbell or gankogui. My shakery. You have a, something to shake, something to strike. All right, then I have my dundums. Okay, the dundums have different sounds. They accompany the djembe drums. Okay, I have three of them, but I'm showing you two. Okay, and this is going to sound something like. Um, soon. I'm going to put it here. We have the bell. We have um, the box we are going to be using. We have a very hungry caterpillar. The very hungry caterpillar. We have a Nancy and a talking melon. A Nancy and a talking melon. Well, my friends, let's just Start with our hello song, okay? If you have your bell, you can play the panel rhythm like this. And then, if you have your 
dun dun's. If you have your dun dun's, you're gonna go. Just the beginning. Now, because we're doing this together, let's try and do a call and response, okay? I say, I'll go. You say, I may. Okay? When I say, I'll go, it means, are you listening? Are you with me? And then you say, I may. That means you promise to listen, okay? Let's try this together. I say, I'll go. You say, I may. I'll go. Amen. I go. Amen. That's two. Let's do two more. I go. Amen. I go. Amen. That's four. <laughs> All right. Now let's clap our hands four times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Great. Next, hug yourself. Let's pat our shoulders four times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, next, blow out air. How many times? Four. Count in your head. Great. Next, stretch your elbows with a sound. Four times, okay? Together, again. Finally, Two big happy circles, okay? You ready? One big happy circle like this above your head. Then one big happy circle all the way down. How do you know it's a happy circle? You need to make a happy sound with a happy face, like this. Ah, yeah. 
Ocha. <laughs> Again. Ah, yeah. Mocha. <laughs> Great. Did you do that? Would you remember all the motions we did from the beginning? Let's start, okay? Now you, I'm going to just talk you through so you can do it by yourself, okay? I say, remember, I say, I go, you say, amen, okay? Four times, okay? We clap our hands four times, remember? We tap our shoulders four times. We blow out air four times. We stretch our elbows four, and then we do ayi moja. You ready? Okay, let's bring the bell in. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. to go to the storyland to tell our stories remember we have two stories to tell okay and this story takes place in the storyland okay remember we have two books how the caterpillar turned into a butterfly and Anansi the spider and the talking drum I mean talk, talking melon and Nancy the Spider and the Talking Melon. Have you read these books? Don't worry. Have you read any books about how the caterpillar turned into a butterfly? Okay. After this, you need to go read all of them, okay? So now, we're going to get ready to go to the storyland. And we're going to dance our way there. You ready? Okay. We're going to go like this. Reach, 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 reach. Okay. And then we're going to go... Um, row, 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 and then we're gonna flap our elbows for time. Flap, 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 flap. Okay. So everybody, get up, get up wherever you are because we're going to be dancing all the way to Storyland. We are going to Storyland. We are dancing to Storyland. We are dancing, dancing, dancing. Hey, oh, once upon a time, I saw the sun came up. Bigger and bigger and bigger. The sun was rising and showing us all of its beautiful colors. It got so bigger. It got so big. So big. So big. And when the sun went down, 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 I heard the sound of the wind. Could you make the sound of the wind? Let me hear your sound of the wind. I'm going to make my sound of the wind. when everybody got together to travel to a story land. Okay, let's bring in the, the, the music. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Get in, get in. One, two, three, four, five. Get in, get in. Ready? Rich, rich.
got to the Storyland. Wow, my friends, welcome to the Storyland. Here in the Storyland, there's supposed to be flowers all over. But I don't see any flowers. Do you see any flowers around? Okay, well, we can use our imagination to grow some flowers, okay? Now, do you have your dirt in front of you? Okay, let's bring a rake and rake and rake the soil, okay? And level it up, okay? I have my pretend rake here. Do you have your big rake? Let's rake and rake and rake the soil. Come on, rake and rake and rake the soil. And rake and rake and rake the soil. Great. Now what? Oh, do you have some seeds? All right, here. I have a basket full of seeds. Let me give you some seeds for you. I have some seeds for you. I have some seeds for you. I have some seeds for all my friends. I have some seeds for you. What flowers do you like most? What's your favorite flower? <laughs> well, I like marigolds. How about you? You like buttercup or lilies or daisy? Sunflower? Roses? Well, it's your choice. Let me give you some seeds, okay? I have some seeds for you. I have some seeds for you. I have some seeds for all my friends. I have some seeds for you. Now you have your own basket full of seeds. Put it beside you because we need to dig a hole. How are you going to dig a hole? Okay. I have a shovel. Do you have a big shovel? You need to get up so we can do our shovel digging dance. Okay. Now in this dance, we're going to use a special song. Okay. You just repeat after me. Okay. I say, yeah, mama, solo, so. Yeah, papa, solo, so. Yeah, solo, so. Yeah, solo, so. So you just repeat after me, okay? Let's bring the music in. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Get in, get in. One, two, three, four, five. Ready? the dirt, the soil, it's how the r, r, r. roots, that's right, roots, get ready, stomp your roots into the dirt, stomp your roots into the dirt, stomp your roots into the soil, stomp your roots into the soil, all right, now which comes out first, 
which come up out of the soil, the stem, rub your stem just like this, rub your stem just like this, rub your stem just like this. Then what else? The leaves, the branches, wave your branches just like this, wave your branches just like this, wave your branches. <laughs> wiggle your leaves, come on, wiggle, wiggle your leaves, wiggle your leaves, wiggle your leaves, wiggle, 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 wiggle. One, two, three, and stop. And now, it's time for the flowers to bud. So hold it up and then open up your flowers. What's your favorite flower again? Okay, open it up, okay? As wide as you can. And then dance like flowers, dance like flowers in the garden, in the garden. Full of flowers. Now, what? Well, once upon a time, there was when the moon came up, the light from the moon had us to see a tiny egg on the leaf. And then when the sun came up, when the sun came up, the heat from the sun, warmed up the egg. Let me see your, your eggs, your tiny eggs. So the sun, the heat is warming up the egg. Tiny, let me see your tiny egg. And then all of a sudden, the egg started to hatch. Wiggle up, wiggle up inside the egg. It was hatching. And then, boom, out came a tiny caterpillar. Let me see your caterpillar. Show your fingers. Good job. Put it on your arm. And the caterpillar was very, very hungry and sad. Let me see your sad face. Oh, I was crying. And the caterpillar went out looking for food. Creeping, crawling on my arm. Creeping, crawling on my arm. On my caterpillar feet. Looking for something to eat. Hey, yummy, yummy. Hey, in my tummy. Hey, yummy, yummy. Hey, in my tummy. Hey, yummy, yummy. Hey, in my tummy. Oh, do you know what fruit the caterpillar found on Monday? That's right. It's an apple. Apple. That's right. Did he eat over the apple? No, 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 no. <laughs> Did he eat under the apple? No, 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 no. <laughs> Did he even eat around the apple? No, 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 no. Where did he eat? He made a hole inside the apple and he ate through the apple. Mm, it was so yummy, yummy. He went to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Woke up on Tuesday. <laughs> I'm so very, very hungry. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, I'm very, very hungry. Oh no. Everyone says, get something to eat. All right, ready? Ready? Can I put this? Ready? Here we go. Creeping, crawling all around. Creeping, crawling all around on my caterpillar feet, looking for something to eat. Hey, yummy, yummy. Hey, in my tummy. Hey, yummy, yummy. Hey, in my tummy. Hey, yummy, yummy. Uh oh, what fruit did he find on Tuesday? Pears, two pears. He ate through the pears, and then on Wednesday, he found three fruits. What food do you think he found on Wednesday? Three of them. Plums. Three plums. He ate through the plums. And then on Thursday, what do you think? What do you think? It's red fruits. Strawberries. 
He found four strawberries. He ate through them. <laughs> and then on Friday, he found five fruits. Ah, 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 oranges. He ate through all the oranges. And then he went to sleep. Let's go to sleep. He woke up on Saturday. <laughs> I'm so very, very hungry. Mommy, Daddy, what am I going to do? He said, well, go get some fruit. You ready? Let's bring the music in. So, because this time it's party time, okay? Because he was eating everything, okay? Ready? Get in, get in. Cherry pie. Uh oh, sausage. He ate through all of them. And then a cupcake. And then a piece of fruit. That night he got into trouble. Oh no. He had stomach ache. He was calling out everybody Help! My mommy! Help! My daddy! Help! Grandma! Help! Everybody! Help! My doggy! Help! Kitty cat! Help! The whole family came around and said, What's wrong with you? Let's go get some, some vegetables, some medicine. Okay? Ready? Creeping, crawling all around. Creeping, crawling all around. On my caterpillar feet. Looking for something to eat. <coughs> yummy, yummy. In my tummy. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy. <coughs> After he ate through the, the vegetable, he got some medicine and he was fine. But this tiny caterpillar, I become so big. Let me see your big caterpillar. So big. There's no way to even to hop or jump. There's no way to walk or run. It's time to clap and build our house. Okay? Since we're going to turn into butterflies, let's call our house chrysalis. Okay? If we were going to turn into moths, then we build a cocoon. But right now we're going to turn to butterflies. So hold it up. And then how many days are we going to do, stay in there? Do you know how many days? How many weeks? Okay, about two weeks, okay? Almost 14 days, okay? One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh oh. Show me your six tiny butterfly feet. Can you run on them? Run on your six tiny feet, six tiny legs. Good job. Insects have six, six tiny legs, just like the butterfly. Okay, can you wiggle your thorax and then rub your abdomen? Okay, just like that. How about your butterfly head? How about your butterfly antennas? How about your butterfly tongue, your special tongue? Proboscis, proboscis. Okay, we're gonna use our tongue to sip the sweet nectar. Now what? Do you have your butterfly eyes? Okay, what are we missing? That's right. That's right. <laughs> Look at what I have to pretend to be my ah, butterfly wings. Do you have something like this? Dance like butterflies, dance like butterflies in the garden, in the garden. Dancing, dancing butterflies, dancing, dancing butterflies, and then you stop. Dance like butterflies, dance like butterflies in their garden, 
flap your wings, butterflies, flap your wings, butterflies, and then you stop. <gasps> what do you think the butterfly is going to do? It's going to find some flowers and sip the sweet nectar. You remember the flowers you planted? You remember your favorite flowers? The butterfly goes up and sip, 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 and doing so, she drops her tiny eggs on the leaves. And what happened to the eggs on the leaves? You need to read all the books about butterflies and caterpillars, okay? Because that's just what happened. And now, it's time to tell our Anansi the Spider story. Anansi loved to play tricks. Anansi the Spider from Ghana, West Africa. He loves to play tricks on everyone, okay? And in this book, Anansi and the Talking Melon. Anansi and all the animals in the whole wide world, they lived together. Anansi is lazy. He doesn't want to work. No, he doesn't want to work. One day, Anansi has been very, very hungry. He has, been, he has grown so thin like a pin. So, so thin like a pin. He was perched on top of a tree. The tree is full of thorns, sharp thorns. And Anansi the spider is looking for something to eat. He's looking up and looking up and looking up. And all of a sudden, he sees the elephant. The elephant. The elephant is inside his garden and he's pulling the weeds out of his wonderful melon patch full of melons and watermelons and cantaloupes oh i have my pretend melon here and then oh, my pretend melon and the elephant is digging up and announce the spider says oh no i wish i could get some of the melons i love melons and i'm so hungry soon enough the elephant look at that big melon and said mm, this melon I think it's ripe. It's going to be juicy. But first, let me go take a nap first. Oh no! <laughs> so, as soon as the elephant walked away, <laughs> and Nancy the spider picked up a sharp stone and dropped onto the melon and started poking a hole inside the melon. Poke! Poke! At this time, Anansi is looking so thin like a pin. He slid inside the melon. And then, what do you think he found inside? Flesh, fleshy fruit. Mm, juicy, fleshy fruit, melon fruit. Anansi is so greedy. He kept eating and 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 eating. He doesn't want to stop. He kept eating and eating until... He ate everything and he became as round as the melon itself. Now Anansi the spider wants to get out of the melon. But, oh no, there's no room. He's stuck. He's so stuck. You remember the hole he, 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 he made? It's so tiny, he couldn't get out. He tries to punch his way out, but there's no room to punch. He tries to stomp his way out, but there's no room to stomp. How about elbow? There's no room to elbow. Nothing. And Nancy is scared. Oh no. Do you get scared sometimes when you get stuck? Have you ever been stuck in a lonely place? And Nancy is lonely. He cries out for help. Help! Somebody help me! I'm stuck in the melon! But his voice could not carry any way. Then, and Nancy thought about the plan. He's going to play a trick. On the elephant. That's right. So now the elephant is coming back. He's taking a nap and he's coming back to cut the melon. Uh oh. As soon as the elephant picked the melon, the melon screamed and said, Out! Oh, the elephant dropped the melon. Oh, who said, Out, out? The melon said, I said, out, out. Mm. The elephant turned around. So, mm. I 
said, who said out, out? The melon said, I said out, out. The elephant is scared. Ah, ah, I'm talking melon. No, talking melon. I've never seen a talking melon before. I, I need to eat melon and give it as a present to the king. Ah. So the elephant grabbed the melon and whilst he was walking, he met the hippo. And the hippo says, hey elephant, what's all this commotion that I hear, all this noise? What's going on? And the elephant says, <coughs> I have a news. This is a talking melon and I'm going to give it to the king as a present. The hippo started laughing. <laughs> Talking melon? That is so ridiculous. <laughs> and then the melon said, Oh, yes, it's as ridiculous as a skinny, skinny hippo. Uh oh. The hippo heard that and said, Elephant, are you teasing me? You think hippos are skinny? Huh? <laughs> the elephant said, I didn't say that. It's a melon. I told you it's a talking melon. So, Hippo says, let me see. Give it to me. As soon as the Hippo grabbed it, guess what happened? The melon screamed and said, Ouch! Oh, no. Hippo says, Who said out, out? What did the melon say? I said out, out. I said, who said out, out? What did the melon say? I said out, out. So Hippo says, I didn't know that melons could talk. Then melon says, oh yes, we talk. We talk all the time, but you don't listen. Oh no. Elephant, I think you're right. May I go with you to see the king, please? So the elephant and the hippo, they grabbed the melon and then they started walking and then here comes Warthog and then Warthog says, what's all this noise about elephant and hippo? And then they said, well, there's a talking melon and we're going to give it to the king as a present. So, what do you think? Warthog started laughing. <laughs> And the melon says, oh yes, it's as ridiculous as a handsome warthog. Oh no, warthog got sad. He thought everyone is teasing him. He said, hey hippo and elephant, are you teasing me that I'm handsome? You think I'm ugly? Well, it's okay, but why do you say I'm handsome? Huh, 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 huh? And he said, no, it's a melon. So they're talking melon. As soon as the um, warthog Picked up the melon. Out! Who said out, out? I said out, out. I said, who said out, out? I said out, out. I didn't know that melons could talk. I didn't know that melons could talk. Oh, yes, we talk. We talk all the time, but you don't listen. Oh. <laughs> so the melon played a trick on all the animals including, you know, the ostrich, the turtle, the lion, the zebra, and all the animals. And then everybody followed elephant to King Gorilla's palace. And when they got there, King Gorilla was already taking a nap. They nap and nap and nap. And then King Gorilla came out and said, ah, oh, what is it? Uh, what is it so urgent that you come and disturb my nap? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they presented the melon. So look, it's a talking melon. And the king got excited. Really? Oh, a talking melon. Give it to me and let me see. Wow, this is so ridiculous. But for the first time, the melon even didn't say anything. No sound. Oh no. Oh no. Everybody was like, hmm? Say something, melon. So the king says, what is going on? But 
Elephant said, oh, the mellow spoke to me. Hippo said, the mellow spoke to me too. Warthog said, the mellow spoke to me too. Zebra said, the mellow spoke to me too. Everyone says, yes, the melon was talking to all of us. And the king got angry and said, hmm, how about me? I'm the king. You have to say something. Hmm, melon, talk to me. So the king poked the melon with his foot. Say something. No answer. He poked the melon with his finger. Say something. No answer. The king started rubbing the melon's head. Say something. Say something, say something, say something. Uh-oh, everybody says, please calm down, king. But the king wouldn't listen. And then the king got furious. He got so frustrated. He got so sad and angry. And he said, you know what? Get me a knife and let me cut this thing into half. I think this melon is sick. And then the melon spoke and said, ha. Huh. I'm not the one talking to a melon. So who is sick? Oh, no. <laughs> the king got so ashamed. And he said, get me a knife. I want to cut this into two. And then everybody said, no, no. It's a gift, our gift to you. You can't destroy the magic. Please do not cut it. Let's celebrate. And the king says, reluctantly, he says, okay, what are we going to celebrate? He says, let's celebrate each of our birthdays. It's wonderful. Okay? So they started singing for the melon. If you are a melon, get up, get up, and dance. If you are a melon, get up, get up, and dance. La 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 And then after they sang for the melon, elephant said, How about me? Okay. Are you an elephant? Do you like elephants? Okay, let's do that. Let's bring their music in. Okay? All right, because we are almost done with the story. One, two, three, four, five, one. Get it? Get it? If you are an elephant, get up, get up, and dance. If you are an elephant, come on, come on, and dance. La 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 la. Okay, I'm a, I'm a hippo. If you are a hippo, come on, come on, and dance. If you were born in January, come on and dance. If you were born in January, come on and dance. La 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 la. Are you singing along with me? If you were born in February, come on and dance. If you were born in February, come on and dance. La 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 la. If you were born in March, come on. As soon as they left the palace of King Gorilla, he grabbed the melon and threw it away. Oh no. It went as far as to the elephant's garden and it hit the banana trees. And when it hit those banana trees, oh no, it was so sad. It hit those banana trees and then the melon split up into pieces they broke into pieces and then guess who came out of the melon yes anansi the spider <laughs> now he's been there too long he's hungry so he looked up and he sees 
the bananas, the banana fruit. He climbed onto the fruit and he started eating the fruit. Then the elephant comes back home. Ah, oh, he goes up to the backyard into his garden and said, Hey, you melons, you know what? You nearly got me into trouble. I think next time if you do that again, I'm gonna cut you all off and then throw it out. I'm not gonna grow melons again. And then the banana spoke and said, Oh yes, elephants, I think you need to cut the melons down because they're gonna disappoint you next time. Cut them off. Uh oh. What do you think the elephant did? He remained quiet, shocked, amazed. Huh? And then quietly he turned away. And then he walked away. And that is the end of the story of Anansi the Spider and the Talking Melon. Hey, there are lots of stories about Anansi. You need to go back to the library and read all of those, okay? Now, let's get out of the storyline and then say goodbye, okay? Remember how we came? Well, I first I saw the sunshine rising up. The sun was rising bigger and bigger and bigger to show us all of that beautiful colors. The sun came up and then, and then I heard the sound of the wind. Could you make the sound of the wind for me, please? There. That's right. That's why everybody started dancing back to their homes. Ready? Remember, reach and reach and reach and reach. We row and row and row and row. Then we flap. Our elbows just like that, flap and flap. Ready? Here we go. Get in, get in. One, two, three, four, five. Get in, get in. Reach and reach and reach and reach. You row, 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 row. Now you flap and flap and flap and flap. You reach and reach and reach and reach. Now you row. so great it's been a long wonderful time together so hold up your hands i'm going to say awa 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 atu 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 awa atu that means i say goodbye with a hug you can also say welcome with a hug but we are saying goodbye atu means the hug okay but i'm saying goodbye it goes like this Ready? It goes like this. Awa, awa, awa. And yourself. Atu, atu, atu. Open your arms. Awa. And yourself. Atu. One more time. Awa, awa, awa. And yourself. Hug someone, ah wah, ah wah, ah wah. Hug someone, ah tu, ah tu, ah tu. Open your arms, ah wah. Give somebody a hug, ah tu. One, two, three, and stop. My friends, thank you so much for this wonderful time. Okay, um, I'm here. But I want to say goodbye to you at home. And if you have any questions, I'm here, right? Thank you so much. I'm so glad you joined me today. Remember to go back to your library and order some books to read, okay? Sophie, thank you so much. Always so wonderful to have you with us.